Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're doing a fairly simple project, but an effective one. We are creating a floral centerpiece for the dining room table for the holidays. I did this last year for my uh, holiday dinner party and it was so effective and so beautiful. And so I wanna switch it up a little bit this year because last year I did, I had some reds in there and I'm switching up my color scheme. I'm doing more of a winter wonderland, whites and greens and snow. Uh, so I'm switching it up a little bit this year, but things that you're gonna need for this project. First of all, you're gonna need some sort of a vessel. I love this one because uh, it has a unique shape on it, but it's also pretty low still, so it gives me options to play with the different types of uh, shapes and movement that I want this centerpiece to look like. Inside, you're gonna need some floral foam. Uh, I have this one from last year. I'm gonna use the same one because it's already cut down to fit inside. You don't need it to fit super snug, but you just need something so that uh, the stems have something to hold on to. And then a couple options here. I like to use a chicken wire, especially for this one because it's so it's wide enough that I can just kind of squeeze this one in here and it gives me more structure with a lot of the florals. But you can also use tape. I've seen done in like a crisscross pattern to create a grid for yourself, like some floral tape. Uh, there are options here, but I'm gonna use this chicken wire because I have it and it's already formed for this bowl. And then when it comes to the florals, use your creativity. Uh, for me, the thing that really elevates these things and makes it look expensive is getting a variety of different textures. Sure, you can get different colors, but for me, I like sticking to a smaller color scheme and buying a lot of different textures within that color scheme. As you can see here, like I have a bunch of different types of pine and different uh, needles that have a little bit of snow on them, but they're different types of tree needles. This one is similar to that, but it's not snowy and has some pine cones in it. Even when it comes to the whites, to the actual flowers, I've got a, a fake peony here, um, dogwood, we've got some wisteria, just different textures that really make this thing come to life and make it seem way more expensive than it actually is. And that's my big trick to this, is that you just really want to have, one, a lot to make it, to really fill it out, but two, a lot of different textures. We are just gonna start building this thing. A lot of faux florals will come in bunches, so one of the first things I'll do is cut them apart so I have more options with placement. Now I know I want this posteria to hang below the arrangement, so I'm placing this strategically first. So now I just have my greenery in front of me. I've moved all of the actual flowers and anything that's just going to be decorative on top of the greenery out of here because I want to focus just on the greenery and making sure that I get it evenly spread out and get the actual shape moving. I usually, I'll start with something a little bit bigger. With uh, faux florals, you want to make sure that you're really fluffing them out as much as possible because they obviously look really flat right away. So just kind of, uh, everything's made on wire, so move it around. And you're just gonna start kind of placing and you really want to think about the shape, the three-dimensional shape that you're trying to create here. So what I'll usually do is take just one type of the greenery and spread it out evenly just to make sure that I don't have it like clumped all on one side that I have it going every direction and then I can move on to the next piece of greenery and make sure that that's all and just kind of build from there and you want to keep turning it to make sure that you're getting that three-dimensional shape that you want.
Alright, so now that most of the greenery is done, um, I can start adding the flowers. And then this is where I'm really going to start perfecting the shape. Because I know right now I have a little bit more, I'm a little heavier on this side. And I also want to fill in some of the uh, gaps in the bottom right here. Uh, so I'm going to try to round it out more with the flowers and I can move the greenery around and see where we get from there. touch I've always really loved uh, a willow branch just to kind of give it a little extra movement. All right, that is it guys. Uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Like I said, there's really no right or wrong way to do it. It's just all about your own artistic flair for it. It's about getting that shape right, getting the different textures in there. Uh, let me know if you guys create your own tablescapes. I would love to see what you come up with. I have a whole dinner party that I'm throwing in a couple weeks. So I have a whole tablescape that I need to make and I have a bunch of other DIYs and uh, holiday decors to come. I really hope you'll join me for those and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.